Greetings and salutations fellow gamers, Lukey P here with another episode of Let's Play Supreme Ruler Ultimate with Brazil. So we've played about 20 days since we conquered the US um, and I thought it was worth doing an episode just because there's some strange stuff going on with the economy I thought it was worth um, talking about just because it might be a good learning point for others. Um, we have been to war with a few nations, so um, we conquered Guyana, we're in the process of conquering Mozambique, so we've taken the original capital and we're on their way to the new one. Um, Puerto Rico is um, looking like it's going to fall pretty soon. Um, scrap all of these we don't need them we're gonna have to build our own stuff soon I think anyway actually timber mill let's keep those so you'll notice we're keeping some things now which uh, I'll explain in a minute we come to talk about strangeness going on with the economy we need there is an air base I think as well okay so I was checking our economy and we don't have enough agriculture anymore uh, Rubber's looking a little bit shaky. We don't have enough timber. Oil is okay, but it's baffling me because literally 20 days ago when we were conquering the US, we ran out of oil and I turned production up to 100%, which is 90 million. 20 days later, 100% is 73 million. So there is clearly some kind of strange game mechanic going on I don't know about. I've researched it online a little bit. It said there's something to do with demand in the rest of the world, which might affect your ability to produce. Um, doesn't really make sense to me. Um, if anybody knows, I'd be very interested to hear in the comments. Um, but yeah, it's it's a bit weird. Coal is in a good place. Metal ore is suddenly not in a good place. Uranium's fine. Power, suddenly, again, not in a good place. And I think that's because it's dropped. Um, I'm not going to go and look back at one of my past episodes in the middle of filming this one but I seem to remember it was 17 and it's now dropped to where it's roughly equilibrium consumer goods is short of industrial goods we're really short of but that is um, for a very specific reason um, and military goods we're very short of Again, for a very specific reason, although we will turn those right up. So it's going to cost us a lot of money. So what I decided to do is I was doing two things off camera. So I've been going around building on mass uh, timber and um, agriculture. Because these were the first two I saw real problems with. So agriculture, you can see I'm practically trying to double it. And I've basically gone around and saw I was actually looking for um to build some stuff along here really um because this is an area of the world which historians uh, and ge geographers call the fertile crescent so it's traditionally where uh, a lot of the uh, civilizations in the world uh, tended to start and have their bases um in ancient times so the Egyptians, the Babylonians, um, and the likes. Um, and it was because the land was so fertile. What I found instead is that China's massively fertile in terms of land, and we could build loads of agriculture. So I've been building massive loads of agriculture there. I've also built a load of timber um, in an attempt to correct that. As rubber was getting a bit high, I've... Um, that's gonna, that should double the capacity. Um, and I've done that just by going to 
at Malaysia and the surprise we had a long a number of episodes ago where we found them the rubber plants were disappearing when they um, have been turned off um, I've basically started rebuilding them um, so that should help fix that um, what I do need to do is to give some attention to oil and power and consumer goods um, and the way I've chosen to do that for now is traditionally I don't rebuild empires once I've conquered them um, so um, but what I've done this time is I've uh, so that was the battle theater view and basically I've gone and I've enabled structure auto repair in East and West America and so what that should do is it should bring online the production capacities of the USA um, because all these things are now being rebuilt so I'm going to give it a few days and I'm going to see when everything's rebuilt so when that drops down towards normal it means it's rebuilt um, and I will see what the uh, situation looks like. You'll see we're making massive losses at the moment. Um, and that is because we are spending seven billion a day on construction. Um, so let's play for a bit and see how we get on. And this is why you have a large bank balance to deal with these kind of situations. bigger loss it's cute so no trades externally because we've run out of stuff to export basically okay so that's dropped down a little bit I think that's because our yeah so a lot of the US probably was a temporary uh, building project Keep giving it a few days. I'll watch the war over here for a bit. Yeah, I thought these units weren't going to go on their own because I've been controlling them. So go and take that one. wanted to be keeping capacity but um, that's not worth it in that area um, let's go 
Can we build any more oil? No. Uh, So we're just having a look around at what if anything we can uh, beef up in this area. What I might want to do, so if this supplies 78% which it is, that means that production has there um, clearly by here the supply has dropped off I'm not really sure why it's so small but nevertheless it is uh, what about around here lots of supply around here um, so let's build gas fields if we can Okay, given that's a hundred percent, let's build some. What are we particularly short of? It's consumer. Military is fine and is in some ways returned to normal. So I put that to one hundred and five percent of demand, and I bet you it stays at thirty-two thousand. But let's see. Hopefully, it doesn't. Um, Build some coal power. So we've got very high supply around here. And then let's build some uh, at 32,000 let's give it another day see if it corrects itself if it doesn't then it's correcting itself very good ok so it must take a couple of days to correct itself it's probably another air incursion yeah we can afford to keep ignoring these because these are not um, these are not big problems for us really. Um, and we don't particularly want more with Germany at this stage. We'll finish off mopping up a few other people first. It's still a problem. Um, I'm just thinking what kind of ratios we need. So we've got at the moment 14 under construction. And we've got 818, so we need a lot more than 818 then. Um, because we are about 10,000 short, which is probably 5%-ish and 5% of 818 
14 is not that far off, but I do want a bit more capacity ideally. Let's see if we can find some high supply areas. So we built agriculture around here because when we looked it was showing us it was high supply and now it's not. So let's build. I think this is the supply jumping up and down again. that's already got a central point and then between here and here we can build um, don't need any military we've got plenty of that we probably do need some more coal power that again for now and then we need to wait a bit longer to see what we look like once the US is finished being fixed good certainly not oh hang on he's offering to sell me military goods is he oh he's offering to sell me industrial goods because he thinks I'm short ah. okay well, let's have a look then for now if I need it later I'll come back to him but I've got quite a lot I'm slightly worried that yeah my units seem to be migrating from North America I think I might have to declare war with Ottawa so that the computer understands that this is key. Not Ottawa, Canada. Um, so let's do battle zone control. So that it knows to get ready. Reserve. No, not really. Not really great supply there, is it? Construction. 
So we're just getting ready. The units to stay there really. I think it is time we go to war with Canada actually. War justification, we've got 70% on who are they allied with. Ethiopia, Iceland, Puerto Rico, I'm ready at war with the UK, I don't mind. I could do with them. Uh, am I ready to go to war with them yet? Not really. Let's declare on Canada first. I'll cross that bridge later on. War has been declared against us by Canada. Okay, so maybe they beat us to it? I don't know. Oh! They must have violated our territory or... Um, this could be from when um, they were firing on us when uh, we were... They were supposedly neutral during the American War. Maybe it's taken my declaration of war as a response to that, so it's counted as them declaring war on me. Hmm, huh, interesting. Okay. So let's, um... Let's get on and try and destroy their, uh... There's one down. Oh, hello. That's not looking so good. They've got a massive... There's only hurricanes, but um, still. And rather typically our uh, anti-aircraft are a long, long way away. So what... Uh, We've got some interceptors, but not many in the area. So we're going to have significant resistance here, because basically we are straight into their two main cities. Um, an ideal world, I would have had an air defence thing there, I think. Probably not made for that now. We'll be able to before it's built. We have a lot of units in the water again, we did. It really does annoy me that. Because they're just basically committing suicide. capture of the United States capital. Do the US have some rebels or something? Yes, it's just horrible. They've all my units have gone into the sea and they're all getting slaughtered. doing you're all 
women barking and killing yourselves is actually properly ridiculous. You should actually fight a war properly. Stop going to sea like idiots. to shoot our units but truly ridiculous some of these military decisions the computer makes I think we've got loads of aeroplanes here which were defending against the US and I think I should start bringing them up towards the front line. Let's so hope the computer can coordinate them flying there without crashing them. Forces are taking a bit of a battering. It's mainly merchant marines we're losing. You've got to get yourselves back onto land. You just can't keep going overseas. It's ridiculous. to get my aeroplanes to bomb some stuff. I think. good. Annex Mozambique, thank you very much. Just want to spread some uh, supply around the new country. Just to get ready for future wars. So, uh, build military supply depots, and we need to leave it. See how slow this game is now because of the uh, of stuff being processed in the given day. Build an orbital launch pad, I think, because we haven't got one of those, and I do just wonder if there's anything in the game where it actually makes a big difference. Barracks. Air base. Supply depot. Go back to Brazil and we should build it near the capital. Let's build it there. Actually, haven't we already got we've got a partially built yeah with our intelligence staff. So let's um, do an orbital launch pad. <coughs> what will that build? That build aerospace engineering and an orbital launch pad. I guess this is probably to help the um <coughs> 
That's all we need then. Okay, that do. I don't know if that will open up some new technologies. That's the reason I'm doing it. Because we're in a uh, space race, aren't we now? So. Yeah, I'm not really that far along. <coughs> don't think we'll get to Man on Mars before I finish conquering the world, to be honest. them to the front line. So we've taken Montreal and we look like we're closing in on Ottawa as well. Just give it a little bit of a pause. Sort out the supplies. Could do with having you help out with construction. And you help out with construction. And what do we got there? We just got a village. Um, very annoying at sea again. I guess at some point I could turn off this Merchant Marine thing. There is an option when you start the game which basically says turn on or off Merchant Marine. If you turn off Merchant Marine it needs you, means you need um, um, <coughs> you need transports all the time to move units. Now you've seen me use transports in past episodes when I want to conduct amphibious landings. Um, but um, it would stop units embarking themselves like that. Now that would make shifting units across continents quite problematic, but um, I'm not sure that's a bad thing at the moment. We don't need another research facility. What we do need is decent supply around Montreal, so we've got an airbase there. Excellent. So we will just put down the supply depot and that would probably be sufficient. I don't need more military. I've got plenty of that thinking about it. Um, air base, we've got something next door. Good, small, medium, we don't want, but uh, let's keep the. Yeah, our um, economy's restabilizing itself. Back up to 92 million. Maybe it's something to do with being at war, thinking about it. Maybe there's some multiplier, which when you're at war with a major pet, well, I've always been at war, actually, thinking about it. But look, these things have jumped right back up. And I really don't know why, other than I've gone to war with Canada. I was always technically at war, just with smaller countries. But you can see, oil is now back up to 90 million, and I've... Uh, maybe I bought, maybe this is all the US stuff coming back online. Maybe that's it. It seems a bit unlikely though. It does seem a bit unlikely. But we're now, um, we're now back and stabilised. See that should be 101% of demand. There's nothing like that. still in existence it is hang on what happened 
to the invaded Puerto Rico and didn't finish the job. Unbelievable. Um, can you guys just go and just be over there and sort it out? Ridiculous. Oh, they moved the capital to Pearl Harbor. I think we need to try and finish that before um before things get any worse. So what have we got over here? We've got a load of marines. So let's send them across to take Pearl Harbor. Slaughtered as soon as they. Why are you at sea again? Stop doing it! Um, we've taken their capital. They don't seem to have surrendered. Let's give it another turn and see if they do. Soon. Yep. Because they haven't got anything left. Um, why has Canada not surrendered yet? Where is their capital? Toronto. Ah. Right. Oh. Well, that's in a pincer because it's getting units from both sides. Let's um, send these guys in as well. be if um, Canada ever falls that becomes part of Quebec we um, can turn off battle zone control now because we've basically conquered that part of uh, let me just turn these back on and then we should be able to wrap this episode up by watching Canada fall I wonder if there's anybody else small in um, my train of thought there uh, because
because um, yeah, we've got a lot of units out there. But we could go to war with the UK. We should finish the war with Canada first, I think. You guys are combat engineers. You should go down there. In fact, let me see what's the unit. There is no unit hockey number one. So, I'm going to take you guys. No, it's not you guys. Someone up here. No. Where did I find those combat engineers? Well, those are alright, so let's move them towards that area. But I did find some combat engineers somewhere in my group, there were about six of them. Pyrenee, we haven't seen one of those for a long time. <coughs> Must be a survivor from when those were the uh, units of choice. So our uh, pincer is closing on Toronto. That should, with any luck, be the end of uh, Canada. But um, nothing we can't live with. this time Winnipeg well, that's slightly more problematic because we don't really have any units there right there. hmm this episode's turning into a bit of a longer one than I was hoping for I thought when we blitzed and took Montreal and Ottawa in quick succession they might well surrender straight off but it doesn't look like it get some units heading towards Winnipeg I think so we've got an airfield there so what I can do hopefully is get some supply planes to fly over the top Got any 
condors around here. Not a great deal, but it should do. Pretty sure it won't get up in time. But what is the distance from no, I don't want that, I want a measuring tool from there to 160. This is just for my own en entertainment, this one. I'm not sure um, it'll be up in time, but if it is, it'll be kind of fun to watch all those airs, things get shot out of the sky by my air defence. Where on earth are my anti-aircraft guns? Do you even fight? There you are. You should be having a field day. Oh, we've marched right up to Winnipeg. Let's fly these guys over, drop some supplies off. Design complete. F2 Salisbury escort ships. We've had some breakthrough in modern missile prototypes and aircraft production. Well, let's see. So we can build, we can research jet airframes, which is kind of nice. F1 Queen B. Well, it's not an amazing interceptor, but it will do. I did, I think I did it off camera because it was quite slow. I did tell these guys to just start building. Because those of that, I mean, that's pretty good, isn't it? You can see, because it's, the reason it takes so long is it's got to decide which of the 221 air plants it's put in the uh, unit into queue at. And now it's frozen for a bit. There we go, okay, let's see if we can conquer this Winnipeg. Let's see if this time Canada surrenders. I think that was a unit just crashing to earth.
Right, their latest capital is down as well. Are they going to surrender this time? Yes, they are. I even zoomed up there in time to see the air. Uh, you might have caught that on camera. I'm not sure how fast it recorded, but you saw the turquoise line of Canada retreat backwards. So I will annex Canada as well. So we now have pretty much everything in North America. There's this tiny little bit of land here, which is belongs to Puerto Rico, who should be being driven out of uh, what's left of them. Um, Brilliant units. I've annexed Puerto Rico. How's that happened? Well, I'm going to annex them. I must have taken. Yeah, my Marines finally reached um, Pearl Harbor. We are now in possession of Pearl Harbor. And I think that seems an excellent point at which to end the episode because we have taken. The remainder of the US, so having had the US surrender the last episode, we've taken Canada, we've then had, um, let's make the supply depot, I thought it would be more appropriate to have a naval production at uh, Pearl Harbor as well, just in the middle of the Atlantic, uh, Pacific rather. Um, so we've taken Canada, we've in taking Honolulu we should have got, yes we've got all of that as well. So we are now rulers of all of North America I believe, so let's have a look, yep. So we own all of the Americas bar Vichy Guyana, <laughs> okay well. At some point, Vichy France and us will have, be having a showdown, but not quite yet. Um, these guys are on their way to Canada. Um, computer needs to change their minds about that. I think they should go into... Um, I don't know, go here or something. Um, and they are nearly over there ready to go to war with the UK which would be what I'll probably be doing and updating your next episode so we've got all of Canada we've got Pearl Harbor which is uh, particularly pleasing for me because off camera um, that took a lot of attention guiding units around the US patrols as best as I was able then ignoring them and seeing loads of shields pop up over here as units were sunk constantly um, so um, finally getting rid of it is um, is a good thing it's a tiny bit of the United Kingdom there that's Brazil okay that's the US didn't realize the US still existed need to send a patrol ship in there or something to actually claim the land if we got any patrol ships no no well um so that is the end of this episode um another good episode for the uh, ever growing nation of brazil so we now are nearing 2 billion of the uh, planet's population under our control Germany is a very distant second the United Kingdom I've got to go for war with them if for no other reason then 518 million will um, restore 
all of the money I ever lost fighting the US um, and China and no actually China made me a load of money um, the US basically the US were the guys who sucked about 700 um, billion from me funding the war with them um, yeah so we've got a few minor wars still going on oh actually we're down to one Iceland Iceland is the sole remaining enemy of um, Brazil um, but I'm sure that will change soon uh, when we declare war on a bunch of other folks in our next episode uh, but for now we will wrap it up there thank you as always for watching I'm Lukey P and I will see you again soon <laughs>